Okay, so similar to the last problems, we're looking at uh, simplifying these equations and then first saying, do we have the same amount on both sides? That would be infinite solutions. Do we have the same coefficient on the variable but different things happening to it? No solution. Or do we have a situation where the coefficient on the variable is different on both sides, in which case we can just solve it for a number? So that's the first thing we need to do. We need to simplify this up top. Okay. I'm going to rewrite it because we've got stuff in between. h minus h minus h equals h minus 16. And I'm going to distribute through. So we've got 2 times h, 2h. Two, 2 times negative 8, negative 16. Minus h equals h minus 16. And now combining like terms of 2h minus h. We have two h's. We take away an h. We've got h minus 16 equals h minus 16. Well, what we're looking at here is we've got the same coefficient on the variable. It's a 1. And then we've got the same thing happening to it, minus 16 and minus 16. And therefore, this is an identity situation. Both sides are exactly the same. Infinite solutions. Okay? Let's try the second one. Okay, what's the solution of each equation? Let's see what we get on this one. Well, do we have the same coefficient on the variable? We can just analyze the problem. It's as simplified as it's going to get. Do we have the same coefficient on the variable? Yep, it's a positive 1. Positive 1z. Okay? So it's either an identity, which is infinite solutions, or it is no solution. So the way that we find that out, what's the other part of it? Is it the exact same thing happening to both sides? That would be an identity. No, it's not. It's different things. So we're starting at the same number. If we were on the number line at z, right, we're both at the same number, and then I go back by 4, you go back by 2, we're never going to land on the same number if we start at the same place and then make different moves from there. So that is a no-solution situation. Done.